For millennia, the concept of fixed and unchanging species prevailed, deeply influencing Western thought. This idea, rooted in the philosophy of Plato, claimed that every creature existed in a perfect, unchanging form. However, even in ancient Greece, whispers of evolution could be heard. Some philosophers and naturalists dared to suggest that species might change over time, challenging the prevailing dogma. Despite their insights, these alternative views remained largely overshadowed by the dominant paradigm of fixed species. Throughout the Middle Ages, the idea of species immutability continued, reinforced by theological interpretations of the biblical account of creation. Species were considered fixed entities, discouraging any serious consideration of species change. Questioning the established order often met with resistance and even persecution. Yet, it is important to recognize that symbolism is an essential part of the Bible. For those who accept both evolutionary theory and biblical accounts, the story of creation can be seen as a profound allegory, expressing truths about the nature of existence and the divine plan. In this view, the biblical account and the scientific understanding of evolution are not necessarily in conflict, but can complement each other, offering a richer, more nuanced understanding of the natural world and its history. The 18th century marked a turning point in the understanding of the natural world. Naturalists embarked on voyages of exploration, encountering a wealth of previously unknown species. These discoveries challenged the notion of a complete and unchanging existence. Scientists began to grapple with the sheer diversity of life and the possibility of change over time. The static view of nature faced mounting challenges. One of the key figures in this shift was Georges-Louis Leclerc, Comte de Buffon. A prominent French naturalist, Buffon entertained the possibility of species transformation. He observed similarities between different species, suggesting a common ancestry. Buffon's ideas, though cautious, planted the seeds for later evolutionary theories. Another influential figure was Erasmus Darwin, grandfather of Charles Darwin. Erasmus proposed that life on Earth had descended from a single common ancestor. He suggested that competition and adaptation played a role in species change. In his work Zoonomia, Erasmus Darwin explored the idea of species modification driven by competition and adaptation to the environment. Erasmus Darwin's ideas, though lacking a clear mechanism for evolutionary change, resonated with the growing sentiment that life on Earth was not static. He suggested that organisms possessed an innate drive for self-improvement, striving to adapt to their surroundings. This concept, while not entirely accurate, hinted at the power of environmental pressures in shaping species. Erasmus Darwin's contributions, though often overshadowed by his grandson's later work, played a significant role in challenging the status quo and fostering a more dynamic view of nature. The late 18th and early 19th centuries witnessed a growing awareness of extinction, a concept previously met with resistance. The discovery of fossils, remnants of creatures unlike any living today. Scientists like Georges Cuvier, a French naturalist and paleontologist, meticulously studied fossils, recognizing patterns of extinction and change throughout Earth's history. Cuvier, however, did not subscribe to the idea of gradual species change. Instead, he proposed a theory known as catastrophism. Cuvier argued that Earth's history was punctuated by catastrophic events, such as floods or volcanic eruptions, which led to mass extinctions. Following these events, new species, specially created, would populate the vacant ecological niches. While Cuvier's catastrophism ultimately proved incorrect, his recognition of extinction as a real phenomenon significantly impacted the developing field of evolutionary thought. In contrast to Cuvier's catastrophism, James Hutton, a Scottish geologist, proposed a theory of gradualism. Hutton argued that geological features, such as mountains and valleys, were not the result of sudden, catastrophic events, but rather the slow and relentless action of processes observable today, such as erosion and sedimentation. He suggested that these processes, operating over vast stretches of time, could account for the dramatic transformations evident in Earth's landscape. 
Hutton's ideas, though initially met with scepticism, gained traction thanks to the work of Charles Lyell, a prominent geologist and friend to Charles Darwin. Lyell's Principles of Geology, published in the early 19th century, popularized Hutton's uniformitarianism, the idea that the same geological processes operating today have operated throughout Earth's history. Lyell's work had a profound impact on Darwin's thinking, providing a framework for understanding gradual change over immense timescales, a concept crucial for the development of his theory of evolution by natural selection. Lamarck's legacy inheritance of acquired characteristics. Jean-Baptiste Lamarck, a French naturalist, stands as a pivotal figure in the history of evolutionary thought. While his ideas ultimately proved incorrect, his contributions laid the groundwork for later theories and sparked significant debate. Lamarck, in his 1809 publication Philosophie Zoologique, proposed a comprehensive theory of evolution, outlining a mechanism for species change over time. Lamarck's theory centered around two main principles. The first, the principle of use and disuse, posited that organisms could develop or lose traits during their lifetime based on their needs and environmental pressures. For instance, a giraffe stretching its neck to reach higher leaves would, over time, develop a longer neck. Conversely, an organism not using a particular trait would see that trait diminish. The second principle, the inheritance of acquired characteristics, stated that these traits acquired during an organism's lifetime could be passed on to their offspring. Thus, a giraffe with a lengthened neck from constant stretching would pass this acquired trait to its progeny. Lamarck believed that this process, repeated over generations, would lead to significant changes in species, ultimately driving evolution. While Lamarck's theory was ultimately discredited, his work represented a significant departure from the prevailing view of fixed species. He recognized the importance of the environment in shaping organisms' characteristics and proposed a mechanism, however flawed, for evolutionary change. Lamarck's focus on adaptation and the inheritance of acquired traits, though inaccurate, stimulated debate and paved the way for Darwin's theory of natural selection, which provided a more accurate explanation for the mechanisms driving evolution. Voyages of Discovery Darwin and Wallace in the Wild. The mid-19th century witnessed two groundbreaking voyages that would forever alter our understanding of life on Earth. Charles Darwin, a young naturalist aboard the HMS Beagle, embarked on a five-year circumnavigation of the globe. His mission, to survey the coasts of South America, provided ample opportunity to explore the continent's diverse ecosystems, from the lush Amazon rainforest to the towering Andes Mountains. Darwin's keen observations and meticulous collections of specimens laid the groundwork for his revolutionary theory. Meanwhile, Alfred Russell Wallace, another intrepid naturalist, ventured into the heart of the Malay archipelago a vast island chain in Southeast Asia. Wallace's quest to document the region's exotic flora and fauna led him to remote islands teeming with unique and wondrous creatures. His explorations, driven by a passion for understanding the distribution of life, paralleled Darwin's in their scope and significance. Both Darwin and Wallace through their immersive experiences in the natural world, began to recognize patterns that challenged the prevailing view of fixed species. They observed striking variations between organisms inhabiting different islands, even those geographically close. These variations, often subtle yet significant, suggested that species were not static entities, but rather dynamic populations capable of change over time. The unique environments of isolated islands, with their distinct challenges and opportunities, served as natural laboratories for evolution. Darwin and Wallace, through their meticulous observations and insightful deductions, began to piece together the puzzle of how species change, setting the stage for a revolution in scientific thought. Their parallel journeys, though separated by time and distance, converged on a shared revelation. The natural world was not static, but rather a dynamic tapestry of life, constantly evolving.
The Galapagos revelation finches and the seeds of an idea. Among Darwin's many stops during his voyage on the HMS Beagle, the Galapagos Islands, a volcanic archipelago off the coast of Ecuador, proved particularly influential. These islands, teeming with unique species, provided fertile ground for Darwin's observations and sparked a pivotal moment in his intellectual journey. It was in the Galapagos that Darwin encountered a group of birds that would become iconic symbols of his theory, the Galapagos finches. Darwin collected specimens of these finches from various islands, noting subtle but distinct variations in their beak shapes and sizes. He observed that finches inhabiting islands with abundant hard seeds tended to possess larger, more powerful beaks, well suited for cracking open these tough food sources. Conversely, finches on islands with a greater abundance of insects or soft fruits displayed smaller, more delicate beaks, adapted for probing flowers or capturing agile prey. These observations, initially puzzling, led Darwin to a profound realisation. The variations in beak morphology among the Galapagos finches appeared to be directly related to the specific environmental pressures on each island. Could it be that these birds, though clearly related, had diverged over time, adapting to the unique ecological niches they inhabited? Darwin's observations in the Galapagos, particularly his study of the finches, planted the seeds for his theory of natural selection. He began to envision a mechanism by which nature, through the relentless pressure of survival and reproduction, could shape the characteristics of species over time. The Galapagos finches, with their diverse beaks and remarkable adaptations, provided a compelling example of this process in action. These seemingly insignificant birds through their variations, held the key to unlocking one of the most profound mysteries of life on Earth. Section 3. Natural Selection Unveiled, a Mechanism for Change. Darwin, piecing together his observations from the Galapagos and beyond, began to formulate a revolutionary theory, natural selection. This elegant yet powerful mechanism he proposed could explain the diversity of life on Earth and the remarkable adaptations of organisms to their environments. Natural selection, Darwin argued, arose from three fundamental observations about the natural world. First, individuals within a population often exhibit variations in their traits. These variations, whether subtle differences in colour, size or behaviour, provide the raw material upon which natural selection acts. Second, many of these traits are heritable, meaning they can be passed down from parents to offspring. This inheritance of traits ensures that advantageous characteristics have the potential to persist across generations. Third, organisms have the capacity to produce more offspring than their environment can support. This overproduction of offspring leads to competition for limited resources such as food, mates and shelter. Individuals with traits that provide even a slight advantage in this struggle for survival and reproduction are more likely to pass on their genes to the next generation. Darwin termed this process natural selection because the environment, through its selective pressures, determines which individuals are most successful in surviving and reproducing. Over countless generations, this subtle but relentless force can lead to significant changes in the characteristics of a population, ultimately driving the evolution of new species. Darwin's theory of natural selection provided a coherent and testable explanation for the diversity of life on Earth. It proposed a mechanism by which populations could adapt to their environments over time, driven by the differential success of individuals with varying traits. This groundbreaking concept revolutionised our understanding of the natural world, placing variation and adaptation at the heart of biological thought. Darwin's bold hypothesis, dissent with modification. Darwin, emboldened by his theory of natural selection, proposed a bold hypothesis. All life on Earth descended from a common ancestor. This concept, known as descent with modification, suggested that the incredible diversity of life we see today arose from a single ancestral form that branched out over eons, giving rise to countless new species. Each new species, he argued, inherited traits from its ancestors, with modifications accumulating over time through the process of natural selection. 
This branching pattern of evolution, Darwin suggested, could be represented as a tree of life, with the common ancestor at its base and the myriad branches representing the diversity of life that evolved from it. Closely related species, sharing a recent common ancestor, would occupy nearby branches on this metaphorical tree, while more distantly related species would be found on branches further apart. Darwin's hypothesis of descent with modification provided a unifying framework for understanding the relationships between all living organisms. It suggested that we are all part of an interconnected web of life, sharing a common ancestry that stretches back billions of years. The implications of Darwin's theory were far-reaching, extending beyond the realm of biology to influence fields as diverse as philosophy, religion and social thought. His concept of descent with modification, though initially met with resistance, gradually gained acceptance within the scientific community, becoming a cornerstone of modern evolutionary theory. Darwin's work, culminating in his landmark book on the origin of species, sparked a revolution in scientific thought forever changing our understanding of life on Earth. His theory of evolution by natural selection, coupled with the concept of descent with modification, provided a powerful explanation for the diversity of life and our place within this grand tapestry. Darwin's legacy continues to shape our understanding of the natural world, inspiring new discoveries and challenging us to explore the interconnectedness of all living things. A world divided initial reactions and controversy. The publication of Charles Darwin's On the Origin of Species in 1859 sent shockwaves through Victorian society. Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection, with its implications for the origins of humanity and the nature of life itself, ignited fierce debate and divided public opinion. Some groups, particularly those adhering to traditional viewpoints, condemned Darwin's ideas as heresy. The scientific community too was initially divided. Some scientists, already grappling with evidence suggesting the mutability of species, embraced Darwin's theory as a compelling explanation for the diversity of life. Others, however, remained skeptical, questioning the sufficiency of natural selection as the primary driver of evolutionary change. The lack of a complete understanding of heredity at the time posed a significant challenge to the widespread acceptance of Darwin's ideas. The concept of natural selection, with its emphasis on chance and competition, proved particularly controversial. Critics argued that it undermined the notion of a purposeful universe, replacing divine design with a seemingly random and ruthless process. Darwin's suggestion that humans shared a common ancestor with apes also drew sharp criticism, challenging humanity's perceived place of privilege in the natural order. Despite the initial uproar and resistance, Darwin's work sparked a profound intellectual revolution. His ideas, meticulously researched and eloquently presented, forced scientists and theologians alike to confront long-held assumptions about the natural world and humanity's place within it. The debate over evolution, ignited by Darwin's groundbreaking work, continues to this day, though the scientific evidence overwhelmingly supports his core principles. gathering support, scientific evidence, and shifting opinions. In the decades following the publication of On the Origin of Species, Darwin's theory of evolution gradually gained acceptance within the scientific community. A growing body of evidence from fields as diverse as paleontology, biogeography, and comparative anatomy provided compelling support for Darwin's ideas. Fossil discoveries, for example, revealed a progression of life forms over time, with extinct species exhibiting transitional features that linked them to their modern descendants. Biogeography, the study of the distribution of species across the globe, also provided strong evidence for evolution. Darwin's observations of unique species on isolated islands, such as the Galapagos finches, found parallels in other parts of the world. The distribution of marsupials in Australia and South America, for example, suggested a common ancestor that had diverged over time as continents drifted apart. Comparative anatomy, the study of similarities and differences in the structures of different organisms, revealed striking evidence of common ancestry 
homologous structures, such as the forelimbs of mammals, birds and reptiles, shared a similar underlying anatomy despite their vastly different functions, suggesting descent with modification from a common ancestor. As evidence mounted, more and more scientists came to accept evolution as the most plausible explanation for the diversity of life on Earth. Darwin's theory, initially met with skepticism and resistance, gradually became a cornerstone of biological thought, providing a unifying framework for understanding the history and interconnectedness of all living things. The Enduring Legacy Darwin's Impact on Science and Thought Charles Darwin's impact on science and society extends far beyond the realm of biology. His theory of evolution by natural selection, a testament to the power of observation, deduction and intellectual honesty, revolutionised our understanding of the natural world and our place within it. Darwin's work challenged long-held beliefs, sparked fierce debate and continues to shape our understanding of life on Earth. Darwin's ideas had a profound impact on the development of modern biology. His theory of evolution provided a unifying framework for understanding the diversity of life, the relationships between organisms and the processes that drive biological change. Fields such as genetics, ecology and paleontology all owe a debt to Darwin's groundbreaking work. Bridging the gap genetics and the modern synthesis. The rediscovery of Gregor Mendel's groundbreaking work on inheritance in the early 20th century provided the missing piece of the puzzle. Mendel's experiments with pea plants revealed that traits were passed down from parents to offspring in discrete units, later termed genes. This particular nature of inheritance, initially seen as a challenge to Darwin's theory of gradual change, would ultimately strengthen and refine our understanding of evolution. The integration of genetics into evolutionary theory, a process that unfolded over several decades, culminated in what is now known as the modern synthesis, or neo-Darwinism. Scientists like Ronald Fisher, JBS Haldane and Sewell Wright, pioneers in the field of population genetics, developed mathematical models that demonstrated how natural selection could operate on genes within populations, leading to gradual evolutionary change. The modern synthesis reconciled Darwin's theory of natural selection with Mendelian genetics, providing a robust framework for understanding the mechanisms of evolution. It established that evolution operates on populations, not individuals, and that changes in gene frequencies within populations, driven by factors like natural selection, genetic drift and mutation, are the driving forces of evolutionary change. This synthesis revolutionized our understanding of life's history providing a powerful tool for exploring the intricate relationships between genes, organisms and their environments. Unraveling Life's Mysteries – Evolution's Ongoing Story The story of evolution is not confined to the past. It is an ongoing saga unfolding all around us, even now. Scientists continue to make groundbreaking discoveries that deepen our understanding of evolutionary processes and reveal the intricate mechanisms that drive change over time. From the mapping of genomes to the study of ancient DNA, we are gaining unprecedented insights into the history of life and the forces that have shaped the diversity we see today. Advances in technology, particularly in the fields of genomics and molecular biology, have revolutionised our ability to study evolution. By comparing the DNA sequences of different organisms, scientists can trace evolutionary relationships, estimate divergence times and reconstruct the history of life on Earth with remarkable precision. These molecular tools have allowed us to piece together the branches of the tree of life in ever greater detail revealing connections between seemingly disparate organisms and shedding light on the origins of major evolutionary innovations. The study of evolution is not merely an academic pursuit. It has profound implications for our understanding of the natural world and our place within it. 
As we grapple with challenges such as climate change, emerging diseases and the loss of biodiversity, evolutionary principles provide crucial insights into the adaptability of populations, the emergence of new traits and the interconnectedness of ecosystems. The story of evolution is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the enduring human quest to understand the world around us. From Darwin's groundbreaking voyage to the cutting-edge research of today, each new discovery brings us closer to unravelling the mysteries of life's history and appreciating the intricate processes that have shaped the remarkable diversity of life on Earth. As we continue to explore the frontiers of evolutionary biology, we can be certain that even more astonishing discoveries await, further enriching our understanding of this grand and ever-unfolding narrative.